Hi, hello, this is Jessia. Today I'm going to show you another easy cool tutorial on how I made this easy cool dark carbon editing using Adobe Photoshop. And without any further ado, let's get started. Here I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2020. And if you want to follow this tutorial, just download this image given link in the description and first of all i'm going to reduce its vibrance by clicking on this adjustment button and choose vibrance and i'm going to reduce its value to something 60 yeah and then click on this adjustment and choose selective color and choose the drop down to reds and i'm going to reduce the cyan value to minus 100 and i'm going to increase the black to plus 100 you can see the skin is popping out and for yellows greens cyan blues and magentas i am going to reduce the cyan and black value to minus 100 and this will be fast forwarded and and in blacks I'm gonna increase the cyan value slightly to 4 or 5 something and I'm gonna increase the blacks to 5 okay and then after that I'm gonna add a use saturation adjustment by clicking on this adjustment button and choose use saturation and in the drop down I'm gonna select the greens and reduce its saturation to minus 100 and for the and in the same way for seance and blues i'm gonna reduce the saturation and you can see the effect is achieved and make it more contrast i'm gonna add a curve adjustment layer and make a simple yes curve you can see the subject is popping out this highly contrast and then i'm gonna add a 3d LUT by click on this color lookup icon and I'm gonna cho choose this drop blues and then change its blend mode to soft light and reduce its fill value to around 40 or something and here you go and then finally i'm gonna add some illuminated to it by creating a new layer and click on this uh, gradient tool and then choose this radiant that uh, button that radiant button and then i'm going to choose the color to foreground to transparent and hit ok and make sure that reverse is checked and then uh, draw a simple radiant in it and change its blend mode to soft light and here you go guys we achieved this effect and that's all guys that's all about this video hope you enjoy do like share and subscribe and keep following this year photography and finally i want to show you a hint about the idea of next video and if you guessed it hit the comments with your answers and here's the hint.